Cheers and Happy New Year! Last year I mostly made uh, videos about the Amiga. I hope some of those inspired you to take the leap yourself and uh, dig into this beautiful old computer. But there is a lot of ways you can do this. And it's kind of a jungle. And I, I wanted to show you some of the options you have to do this. Some are cheap, some are very expensive, some are mostly for the gamers, and some are for the more hardcore users. You could of course buy a real one, but that involves a lot of money, and most likely it will involve some repairs. So I will focus on the emulation part of it, not the real Amiga in this video. One of the obvious answers to this is using a Raspberry Pi. And you have the choice between a regular Raspberry and uh, a Raspberry Pi 400. The Raspberry Pi 400 kind of reminds me a bit of the Amiga 600 in a way, uh, with the all-in-one uh, uh, keyboard wedge case. A bit, at least. So I think this is a kind of a good way to do it. But um, regular Pi has the benefit of uh, fitting into some custom nice cases. So that is also a way to go. As you can see using the Raspberry Pi 3 it can look very nice. Uh, and with a proper keyboard you even have the Amiga keys and you can have a proper mouse and a nice joystick etc. But what I want to show you here is how bad the emulation is on the Raspberry Pi 3. As you can hear the music is stuttering and uh, it's, it's not really something you want to use. So stay clear of the Raspberry Pi 3. The Pi 400, however, is another beast. Uh, it's in another league. It's it's not perfect, but it works a lot better. And if you had a big box Amiga uh, back in the days with a graphics card, this may tick your boxes. It uh, managed to run most desktop applications and most games quite good. And uh, if you, like me, were interested in the demo scene, this is capable of running 060 demos quite well. So I have run into quite a lot of glitches, but it's um, but it it runs a lot better than the Raspberry Pi 3. So this should definitely be on your watch list uh, for a cheap alternative. As you can see, it runs the T-Build demo quite well. This is one of the alternatives, the Mr. FPGA based system. The Mr. is uh, kind of like using a real Amiga with uh, an O30 CPU. Uh, it reminds me a lot of my 8400, which has a real O30 50 MHz. It's as snappy or as slow as that, and you could use it for uh, proper desktop use for rendering, doing, uh, making music, painting graphics and all that. And it feels very uh, authentic. But one of the really, really, really good things about the Mister that the others don't have is that the emulation is extremely good. All demos and all games I've tried, it's... Uh, it, I haven't run into any glitches or any bugs or anything like that. Everything just works and it's um, quite a beast, I would say. What it lacks is the possibility to run 060 stuff. So if you're into the AGA 060 demo scene, this is not for you. But um, if you are more into the reliving the A8-1200 you maybe have in the late 90s or early 90s, this is definitely the thing for you. 
one of the easiest and the cheapest way to do it uh, a way that you can go as far as you like or as short as you like is to use some kind of software on your normal computer to emulate the Amiga like WinUIE or FSUIE uh, you can go all the way like I did with a Amiga inspired case made from Check Checkmate 1500 uh, a CRT monitor with the correct uh, 50 Hertz uh, image uh, refresh rate and uh, doing it th this way it will uh, it will work very well and if you do like I do and boots uh, directly into the emulator it feels just like using a real Amiga or you could launch it from your desktop your Linux desktop your Mac or your Windows desktop, whatever you prefer. This being an emulator, you can set it up as a big box Amiga, like I'm showing you here. Uh, you can even install uh, PyMiga on your PC and boot directly into that. So um, it's just like any powerful Amiga. One of the good thing about using a PC for the emulation is that they're usually quite capable and very powerful. So they managed to emulate the O60 very well. As you can see here, it uh, runs the this uh, TBL demo just like a real Amiga with O60 does it. The refresh rate on the monitor is 50 Hz and everything looks and feels and behaves just like a real Amiga. So this is uh, quite a good way to experience uh, uh, the Amiga. You can set the emulator to behave like any Amiga you like, an A500, A1200 stock, or you can set it as uh, some kind of imaginary, very powerful Amiga uh, that you wish existed, but doesn't. As a bonus uh, when running emulated like this is that you can also use real f floppies uh, like I'll show you here. With a grease whistle you can in UIE use uh, real floppies and play a game just like you did on the A500. And as I said earlier, the emulation on a PC is very good. Uh, I think it's hard to spot any errors in the emulation on a proper PC. So this works very well. There is quite a jungle out there when it comes to the software for uh, the emulator. But uh, I would say go for WinUIE if you are in Windows. And if you're running Linux, I would say go for FSUIE if you want a really fast Amiga or just use Amiberry if you want a proper old school emulation with support for floppy drive. If you prefer not to set up anything yourself, it's even possible to buy a finished package with the, the emulator setup and workbench and everything ready for you and it's called Amiga Forever. It's uh, not very expensive and a very easy way to get a good setup so I highly recommend that. To a lot of people this is the answer. The i500 Mini. It is a extremely stylish little miniature of an Amiga 500. The A500 Mini is more like a game console than it is an emulation of an Amiga. But it's an easy way to experience games and... Uh, yes, it experience games. You can install Workbench on it, but it's um, quite hacky and... Uh, it's very vulnerable if you press the wrong button on the joystick, you ruin your setting and you need to 
yeah, set it up again, etc. So if, if you're interested in, in using the desktop, I would not recommend going this route. It it can be done, but it's it's very hacky and um, to be honest, um, I've tried it and it's just not powerful enough to have a good experience uh, as a desktop Amiga. But as a game Amiga, especially Amiga 500 games, it's it works extremely well. The A500 Mini comes with uh, quite a few games and some quite good ones, like Zul. Uh, but uh, you can also install your own games uh, on a USB stick and play those, so you're not locked into those few games that uh, came with the console. And I will call this a console, I will not call this an Amiga. But um, as you can see here, it looks very nice and uh, um, yes, it's, it's, um, it's cute. That's what it is. It's very cute. So if just playing the game is your thing, then I think this is uh, something you should check out. How do we conclude this? It's not easy, but, but let's try. If you are a casual gamer and all you're interested in just playing some games and you're not really interested in the computer and the software part and Workbench and Amiga OS and tinkering and all that stuff, then this is right for you. The Amiga 500 Mini. There is rumors of a... We're not sure what it's going to be called, but a big version of this with working keyboard and everything. And that will be interesting to most users, I think. I will, of course, let you know when that is out in a separate video, if it ever comes. So, for the casual gamer, the Amiga Mini. If it's very important to you that the emulation is spot on, then the Mr. FPGA is right for you. You can do as I have done, put it in an Amiga 500 case with a working keyboard, or you can have it in the small original Mr. case. Anyway, the emulation part of that is extremely good and one of the best. What you don't get from it is um, watching uh, 060 demos and uh, software that benefits from using the 68060. So you can think of it as the perfect way to emulate an Amiga 1200 with an 030 around that kind of Amiga. Also the Amiga 500. And now comes the tricky part. Because the Raspberry Pi and using a PC with software kind of is the same thing in a way. So I would say it depends. If you want better emulation, I would go for the PC. The Raspberry Pi doesn't quite have it and I've seen a, some bugs in the emulation which I suspect is due to the CPU power or lack of it. But for most users, I think it would work perfectly fine. And if you use something like um, Pymega, you get the, the desktop experience you were dreaming about in the 90s on the Amiga. It, uh, on a budget, I would say the Raspberry Pi is fine, but do, don't even think about using a Raspberry Pi 3. I would say use a 400 or maybe a Raspberry Pi 4. The 400 can emulate a bit better because you can um, hire this uh, CPU frequency a bit more before it gets unstable. But you're in the ballpark of using a PC and you could set up any cheap PC 
just like uh, the Raspberry Pi and even install Pymega on it. I have a separate video about it if you're in interested in how it's done. So I would say if you're in that ballpark, I would rather use a PC and go the PC way. So I would say out of all of this, the only way I wouldn't quite recommend people to go is the Raspberry Pi way. At least not yet. I think the Raspberry Pi 5 is fast enough to do this emulation perfect. I hope so. The emulation software is very good. So I think it's just the power isn't there. I think so. I'm not sure. Correct me in the comments. Sum it up once again. For the casual gamer, the Amiga 500 Mini. For the almost purist, I would say, where the emulation is very important that it's spot on, use the mister. The frequency of the monitor is correct. Everything is just spot on. Or if you want your big box Amiga dream to come through, use a PC. I hope this was helpful and that you get inspired to dig into it yourself. That was my goal at least. If you do have another option that you think I should have told you about or that maybe some people that watch this video should know about, please write a comment down below to help others and me. I enjoy getting those feedbacks from you guys, telling me things I've forgotten, things I should know, and that way I learn and you learn, sharing the knowledge. So dig into it. Cheers.